Welcome back to Godhood. They've released a new content patch. Um, it's number two, which is called Old One Rising. And uh, this here already looks very promising, I should say, with the uh, <clears throat> tentacles around the title of the Old One Rising. And in 22 days, they're going to uh, release the third content patch, which apparently is create your own religion. Interesting. Not sure how that works. It could be beta tested now. Um, but for now, I'm just going to play the game as it is. Uh, old one rising. So uh, let's jump to the... Uh, Create our uh, religion. How should we address you? Um, uh, well, I think the Kraken is a good name for a god. Uh, what's our religion called? Um, um, The Madness Tentacles. And our worshippers are called Sky People. I think that's very fitting. We will be a god, we will be dark, and we need to customize this thing. Um, G. No, no, no. A trident. Well, now. So we should have tentacular arms, like that, yeah. Flexing our big tentacular muscles, of course. Um, <laughs> that looks very interesting. Um, they've added some new uh, shapes, I think. Yeah, fish body. Mm -hmm. um, let's go with a mermaid body. Um, with that silly hat. Uh, head. Definitely this one. Uh, we need some other wings. A butterfly tentacle or something. Uh-huh. Uh, I guess we can't go without wings. Can, actually. Well, this looks very uh, decorative and festive. Do we want a hat? <laughs> yes, we want a hat. Um, green? No. I'm not sure what that color is, actually, because it doesn't seem to apply to anything. Uh, we don't want the body to be white. We want it to be... Uh, no, that's a bit too orange. Can that be orange? Uh, no. No, no, no. Let's... Let's do an orange body, then. Um... Not sure about this green here. It's a bit too much blue. Oh gosh, be my eyes. Uh, no. How about... Well, I guess the green actually looked quite good. The orange is a bit intense. I, 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 I really do like orange. That is just a bit too much. This looks quite pleasing. So... Um... Should we go with the crack? Uh... I actually have to think here. The Kraken is a good name for, for a god. Um... But in light of what we're actually playing, um, we're going to name the god the Old One. And the Madness of Tentacles, you'll see why that's uh, relevant, but... Um, we... no, it's going to be... God of the Enlightened Tentacles. The Sky People worship the Old One, God of the Enlightened Tentacles, with a simple fervor. And we can change our color to blue, I think. Maybe that can be orange. 
No. No, it can definitely not be orange. It can be yellow, though. That doesn't look bad. So, here we are in our... Um, well, I might want to explore different options for that. Yeah, that's better. There we go. So here we are in our splendorness with a glorious fish hat and all the tentacles, both the face and the arms and the mermaid body. We are going to play dark for a reason, so let it be known. For as long as there have been people to believe, there have been gods to vie for their attention. The old one is such one such god, destined to claim their place in humanity's hearts and minds. They would start with a single soul, destined to become the first prophet of the enlightened tentacles. I am the old one. From nothing, the old one appeared before Akola. Akola renounced their faith in the old god, Quetzalcoatl and placed it in the Old One instead. First, the Old One taught Akola about what is right. In my name, you will spread... madness. The insights provided by the Old One are the only truth. The uninformed are... The uninformed will think your followers are mad, but the truth will engulf all your enemies. We get this unique little uh, temple here. The uh, Temple of Madness. Um... And, um, yes. So we definitely want madness to be a virtue. The elders who worshipped the ancestors thought this idea to be dangerous. This is madness. Yes, that's exactly what it is. They could not see how they were wrong in opposing the old one. A sacrament was called to determine who was right. Prepare for the sacrament. Could have skipped the tutorial, but... I like that they're called Stubborn Elders. Or a cola. Got some experience. The Elders were resolute in their judgment. A cola and a few followers were banished from the old city. Before leaving, Akola prophesied that one day the Old One would bring the liberation of madness to the Old City. One day we will return. Akola continued to travel for days with the exiled. The people were growing tired and hopeless. Finally, on a fertile and lush terrace, the Old One spoke again. This shall be the Old One's holy site. A new religion is founded. Here we are. Uh, the only thing we can do right now is to gather sky people. We're in the age of darkness. Let's uh, customize Ola. Since we start with a female uh, skin color, a bit lighter than that. Um, Really worn. Uh, is brows. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Mouth. Yes. Hairstyle. Kumpala. Let's go with a. Uh, Hair like that. Facial hair. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, I don't think so. Facial details? Yes, perfect. Need any more? Hiyo. 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 Here we go, and of course our prophet will be Catherine. <clears throat> um, done? Yes? Mm -hmm. So we have Catherine, who is a cultist, a mad prophet who uses dark and weird abilities. 
P. I need to do something about that. Also unchains your allies, increasing their strength and boiling their blood with madness. So Catherine's skills are corrupt vision and babble. Uh, her passives is unchain, which means that uh, all non-cultist allies will get more physical damage, and uh, that's quite useful. She hasn't uh, done any miracles yet, but she is a prophet, which gives her plus three to all of the uh, stats, and she has a direct connection with the old one. Her character trait is madness. She, she likes pleasure, oh yes, and fertility. We are blessed with many offspring. So this is a, a good start. Uh, charisma and knowledge is the uh, primary uh, stats for a cultist. And I think that charisma actually is more important than knowledge because charisma bonus, charisma bonus. Uh, I haven't seen any abilities that doesn't charisma bonus. But I, I did try to play uh, with the madness just to see how it is. It's quite funny. So the Catherine... Uh, Follows the Ibis Totem. Gives her knowledge and devotion, which is good. Um, yeah, here we go. Next turn. Coco prayed at the Holy Site's center. They collected new sky people and grew their faith in the old one. The more faith the disciple has, the better they serve. The old one commands, I shall take heed of their faith in me. Two disciples in awe of this prayer pledged themselves to the enlightened tentacles. They were young Coco and Neka. They too wanted to partake in prayer at the Holy Site Center and collect Sky People. Gain Sky People to increase your god level and unlock new options for your religion. The old one commands, I will inspire more disciples to pray to me and gather Sky People. I will not name these guys because I'm probably going to send them away from the tribe at some point uh, because uh, we will get better disciples. Coco has two stars and one star and follows the dog totem and Neka has one star, one star and follows the parakeet totem. Knack for life. Eh. Coco has a knack for ancestral and Catherine also has a knack for ancestral. No, she has an ancestral soul actually. Which means that she can Rarely trigger a chance to follow up an ally's ancestral ability. Okay, uh, let's send Coco to help uh, gather sky people. Hello. I like this Norwegian style speak. Hello. Next turn. Tutorial, uh, the new sky people gathered by your disciples remain doubtful and wish to witness the old one's greatness in a holy sacrament before committing their faith. Um, I'm not going to uh, read all of this because uh, we've seen that earlier. Uh, if you're wondering about this, you can pause the video and read it yourself. The old one commands, the tribute shall be sanctified in sacramental victory. And the enthusiasm, you can also pause the video and read that yourself. The old one commands, go my disciples, win sacraments and convert new sky people. Uh, however, we're not going to go on a new sacrament yet. I want to gather up more sky people before we go on a sacrament. The last time I played through the game, I did do the sacraments too quick, and that's actually a bad tactic. So I usually do sacraments when they are yearning. Is this yellow brown icon? So we have 25 sky people out of uh, possible 30 max in that pool. So we'll go to the world map and we'll go to the southern jungle and uh, I guess attack them. But what we're doing is actually converting them to the glorious madness of the old one. Our mission. Come closer! Catherine unchains her power, which empowers the uh, attacks of both Coco and Neka. And then she goes on to babble. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! The old one wants me to murder. No. Condemn. Then. Back. Back. 
Coco intervened. Ahaha! -ha! Catherine is good at doubling. This is good. They grow more experienced. We proceed and we should gain 25 sky people and 20 materials. Excellent. Which gives us two levels on our gold immediately. First gathering, uh, we can now uh, construct a material gatherer and gardens, confirm. You can pause the game if you want to read this as well. Materials shall be used to construct and upgrade buildings. Now, your disciples have brought you glory in the sacrament and the sky people are satisfied for the moment. In due time they will get excited for a new sacrament. Ignore their desires, and you may soon find them to be impatient or even skeptical. And the old one commands, My flock sure is needy. And then the second level up, I don't know why I didn't do that immediately. Level 3, we can build an offering stockpile, and we get more worship as a port. Excellent. Confirm. Um, yeah, we need to build stuff. Uh, we need to... First and foremost, check the world map. So here we will gain materials, and here we cannot go yet. So they will give us ritual offerings, but it will also match materials. So we will build a material gatherer down there. And we will send all three of them. Why do I keep clicking that? We'll send two of them there, and one of them can gather sky people. Next turn. Oop. Nine materials and four followers into our tribute part. And uh, when you uh, do a sacrament, if you win, you'll get all of this into your actual uh, resource pool. If you lose, you'll get part of it. Next turn. More. They're still satisfied, so we'll another turn. Found it here. Doing their, doing their thing. Uh, they are excited. Perfect. Another turn. And now they're yearning. Summon initiates. Several sky people have traveled to the holy site, eager to become your next disciples. You may summon these initiates and determine who is worthy enough to become acolytes of the enlightened tentacles. Each disciple requires an amount of your worship or support, so take care when making your selection. The old one commands, summon these initiates before me. This one. Get Quali from the seas. She's rather crappy. Isma from the lands, who is also rather crappy. But this one is purple. It's, it's promising. Taizo from the bloodline of Catherine. Lilac King Totem. Oh my. Oh my. Hello. Plus 0 0.25 unknown macro bonus mull. Okay. This is an... Uh, yeah, hello. Um, we don't have enough to recruit them at the moment. Because we only have 12 out of 20, so we need to level up before we can recruit them. However, I discovered... This is Andy. You can actually recruit between those 20 turns. You can just go here. And also, can't do that now, but... Uh, you can also dismiss disciples. At any time. Okay, so now we have a full stockpile of almost a full stockpile of materials. Um, we can probably also construct an offering stockpile, but we will do a sacrament. We'll go to the southern jungle and we'll send all three of them to do this sacrament. Dark mission.
closer. Of course, Catherine will unchain them again. And continue to bubble. Hey, why are you nervous? Poor Coco and Nika. Oh no, Catherine intervened. Well done, Catherine. Oh, corrupting their vision. Bleed, eyes, bleed! The old one wants me to murder. Two of them can now unlock a class. Probably going to dismiss both of them, but... Um, okay, so... The cultist... What does the cultist do? Um, and chains... Increasing their strength, so it would be beneficial to put them together with someone that does physical attacks. So either a guardian or... Physical... Ancestral physical damage, that's a good one for instance. Smite sword does physical damage. I like the zealot. I am right, and you are wrong. But, um... Powerful leader... Charisma and Might. Smite Sword uses Might and Devotion. Not as good as Chieftain. The Rage Prophet uses Might and Health. Which is actually the best one for Coco. Yeah, let's go with that. And Neka, you can be a uh, weaver. They do morale damage uh, instead of uh, physical damage. However, the, uh, <clears throat> the the smite sword challenges heresy, which they also counter heresy. Uh, I, I like the smite sword. Um, might and devotion, not that good. Chieftain is charisma and might. Weaver is Knowledge and Charisma. I think we'll go with the Weaver for Neka. Seed. Got level 4. Lots and lots of building materials. And the old one has leveled up. Excellent. Now build a study, and the worshipper support has increased to 23, so we can now recruit a new disciple. Uh, in their sacrament victory, some disciples gained a miracle charge. These disciples are ready to perform a powerful miracle. However, miracles cannot occur just anywhere. Your disciples want to construct new holy places important to the faith where they can enact miracles. The old one commands, I will erect an important place where miracles are performed. And uh, that's exactly what we will do. Uh, we will build a storytelling circle. Put that there. And we will send Neka to perform a miracle myth at Storytelling Circle. Then we need to check the world map so we can get more sky followers there in the dark caverns. We can get more relics in the musical valley or we can get more materials in Acha. Um, I think that we want more ritual offerings as our primary thing right now. So we'll send Catherine and Coco to gather ritual offerings. We also need to build a garden, so that we can heal our uh, disciples, and we need to initiate Taizo. Initiate this disciple. There we go. Next turn. We currently can only command three disciples. I did discover that when you level your god up sufficiently, you can command more disciples to do jobs, which makes things so much easier. Okay, there's one turn. 
moving right along. Naka told an amazing story of the Old One's tentacular exploit to some Skypie. The story was so well told that it came alive with tentacles wriggling in the very stars above the holy site. A spellbound crowd looked up as the Old One did many great things and wiggled all of his tentacles around in times long past. Naka, enraptured in telling the tale, kept their eyes closed dreaming about all the glorious tentacles. The Old One commands, stories are the wellspring of faith. Indeed. Plus two charisma, which is good. Get a new ability, Mind Fork. Uh, Doom. Blessed be Naker. Um... Probably should go do the miracle with Coco as well. Send Coco. No, we don't have enough. Uh, we have two people working there. Let's take Iso and send them. Gather Sky people. Because I'm I'm not planning on using Coco. Probably will send Coco away. But I do want to do the miracle first, though. Next turn. Okay, so do one more turn of Ritual of Rings before we pull this turn. That's perfect timing as well. They are now yearning. Let's go do a sacrament. I to go to the Musical Valley. And you can see, if you win, you gain both tributes. If you lose, you gain your own tribute, but they take 25%. So be losing 25% of the 40 gold offerings and the nice IP to this battle. We will send uh, Catherine and Neka and Taizo. Come to our side. Feel the tentacles. Chain your power. Brains intervening. This is good. Double Doom and attack. Hmm, this might be a close one unless we get some critical hits in. Oh, Catherine keeps intervening, which is good. Oh, Defy. Good. Double Doom and Nervous. Ah, uh, ouch. That's not good. Ah, critical hit. Thank you. Yeah, the feeble are doomed. <laughs> that was unexpected. I like this doomsayer. Now Catherine can perform a miracle. She'll have to wait though. Now we need to gather more followers. Um, so... Let's remove everyone from the jobs and we will send Catherine to the gardens. Deal. We will send Neka and Taizo to get the sky people. Next turn. Neka prays to you. Oh, why is the old one? When the sacrament comes, please allow me to rest. Neka must not take part in the next sacrament to feel like their prayer has been answered. The old one commands, perhaps. We probably won't <clears throat> grant that prayer. Neka is kind of important. Next turn. Uh, Catherine has been healed. So... We'll send uh, Catherine to gather offerings. I think that's what we need the most at the moment. Could always upgrade something. 
but I I want 40 per quick. Yep, that's right. Okay, next. And we are full on sky people in tribute, so we'll send Aika the ritual offerings, and we'll send Taizo to gather materials. Next turn. And now they're yearning again. Now we have a lot of stuff in our tribute. Let's do the sacrament in the dark cavern. We'll send Catherine and we will send Neka even though they don't want to and we will also ISO dark mission. Hmm, interesting. Unchain your power! For a vision. Sleepy! You can't see the truth! No, you couldn't. Why are you sleepy, Neka? Oh, right. That's probably. The feeble are doomed. Abrupt awakening, I guess. Babble, sleepy, and nervous. Can you do one of those uh, feeble are doomed again, Neka, please? Thank you. Ah, one. Defy. Excellent. Bleed, eyes, bleed. I yield. Yay. Unlock class for Taizo. This should be interesting. Nine knowledge and six charisma. Zealot. Hmm. Well, they do morale damage. It's a bit boring. However, I do like these. I am right and you are wrong and the, the passive righteousness when the Zealot uses lecture. They do have a support blessing. They preach. They question. Uh, the weaver is rather good. I mean, this doesn't use knowledge. True, it could be good. Does morale damage, though. So does the weaver. All of these do that. Harbinger. Charisma and health. Cultist, knowledge and charisma. That's the same uh, class as uh, Catherine's, though. Beast walk. Didn't get a tail. Songsmith, no. Okay, let's go with the druid then. Seems kind of weird for my uh, ocean. Not. I really want to try a zealot, so let's let's go with a zealot. Proceed. Mission success. Level 5 and level 6. Yay! Lots and lots of stuff. Don't level up. No! Oh. Dedicate statue. Excellent. We get another disciple slot. Excellent. Now we have a lot of my people and offerings. Uh, we can dedicate a statue to madness in our miracle rituals. Um, I think we want to do... Health. Health. Let's build a market. And we will dedicate a statue, of course, on the Miracle Myth. Now, there are some new statues which I find interesting, like you have Cthulhu of Madness, you have Tentacles of Madness, you have the All-Seeing Eye of Madness, you have the Pyramid of Madness, Fire of Madness, the Jellyfish of Madness. 
Uh, we're going to go with the Tentacles of Madness, of course. So we're going to inspire the Tentacles of Madness. There we go. Perfect. And... Uh, we can still allow Neka to rest in the next uh, sacrament. And Neka will be happy with that. And now that we have Taiso, I actually think that we will do that. So what we will do is uh, move the jobs. And we will send Taiso to the garden to heal. And we'll send both Catherine and Coco to gather material. No, we'll send Neka to gather materials. Coco is neutral. Uh, that means their faith isn't good. So, next turn. Now Coco is down. Oh well. They will participate in the next sacrament, so they'll be happy then. Uh, the healing is complete, so we will send uh, Coco. You can go... Heal. I'm just to make sure, yes, I'm getting materials there. We need lots and lots of materials at the moment. Um, we might want to consider doing a miracle. Let's do that. Uh, or actually, Poco needs to heal. So... Catherine, you can stop doing that. And Taiso, you can go do a miracle. Uh, Taiso... You're a druid, aren't you? Charisma and devotion. You're a zealot. Okay, so we want to send you there. Okay, Taiso, you'll go to the uh, miracle myth. Next turn. And next turn. Now people are yearning for a new sacrament. Taiso told an amazing story of the Old One's exploits to some sky people. The story was so well told that it came alive in the very stars above the holy site. All the tentacles wriggling about happily. A spellbound crowd looked up as the Old One did many great things in times long past while it was tickling them gently their heads with this one soft voice. Taizo, enraptured in telling the tale, kept their eyes closed. The old one commands, stories are the wellspring of faith. So Taizo gets the uh, question. Okay. it be Taizo. Excellent. Um, okay. Um, I want to uh, customize this character. Masculine. Uh, what? Is that thing on your head? Why, why do you have that thing on your head? Give you some hair. It's good. Like that mouth. And bushy eyebrows. That looks good for Zealot, yes. Tails. I guess the thing on his head is it's a, a Zealot. This, of course, shall be Peps. No, no. Good. Done. And let's do the sacrament then, and we will go to the Achar, the Red Village. Catherine, Poco, and Peps. Start mission. Sukuche! Catherine, chain their power. 
that should benefit Coco and Peps both. Blurgaga! Oh, Guar! I like this uh, exclamations that you guys are making. Garg! Madness, madness! Victory. Proceed. By allowing Naka to rest from this sacrament, you have answered her prayer. She's filled with energy and newfound faith and tentacles. The old one commands, Naka is ready to prove my glory again. Mission success. Get lots of materials, which is good. Bala. Much better. Ecstatic, neutral, ecstatic, ecstatic. However, I think that's a good place to end the episode. So uh, thank you all so very much for joining me. And I hope that you enjoyed the uh, the madness virtue. Uh, it's probably not as humorous as the lust virtue, but uh, it does have its charm, I suppose. <laughs> See you all next time.